As parents, we want to make sure our children are growing and maturing on track. But what are some of the major milestones and when should they be happening? Pediatrician Dr. Scott Cyrus joins us this morning with the details. Dr. Cyrus, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Leanne. How are you? This I'm doing well. You know, I know my mom still brags that, oh, Leanne, when you were, you know, six, eight months old, you were talking full sentences and walking by this. It, it is a bragging right for parents to talk about those things. But really, each child is different. Each child is different. And, you know, when, when, when children are advancing, you know, either above or beyond uh, what we expect in the milestone. It's it's great news, and you know, let the let the parents brag all they want. Our big concern is when the children are not advancing or not moving through the milestones uh, at the at the level where the majority of the children should be. Those early years are extremely important, aren't they? They are very important. You know, and you know, when they talk about the formative years, those formative years really set uh, the pace for even um, our lives up into adulthood. We have studies uh, called the ACEs studies that talk about these things that can slow children's advancements down and it can affect people up into adulthood with depression, alcoholism. And so it's extremely important that we really keep our children on track with, uh, with these developmental milestones. Well, let's break down some of those milestones for the different age categories. We've put together a full screen that'll allow our viewers to kind of better understand. So kind of what should our children be doing during infancy? You know, early on uh, during the infancy aspect, we're really looking at motor skills, <clears throat> excuse me, at motor skills and uh, you know the rolling over the sitting up uh, there are social skills there are language skills the babbling and things along those lines but more language development occurs in the preschool years and so we want to make sure that they're really ready for school with their language skills and so you may see us uh, if they're not there uh, you know ask for speech therapy and things like along those lines again the motor skills continue to move along even up in through um, uh, middle school years and we move on in, again on into that social development where they're socializing with their peers and again how are they moving how are they interacting in the school settings and then of course up into adolescence where the emotional skills and those uh and, you know those ideas of relationships and you know going into puberty and then the social skills of uh, driving and 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 kind of understanding society and it's in its big kind of bigger picture i know you've come up with this acronym it's pretty effective uh, for when talking about parenting it's called uh, all it takes is heart and it's h e a r t and each of those letters represents something so let's kind of break that down for our viewers you bet uh, you know it was it was a privilege of mine to be a part of a bigger group uh, at the Erickson Institute in Chicago as far as the American Osteopathic Association and so physicians came together and said what is it that really is important as far as understanding that childhood development from literally the time they are born moving forward and we came up with this acronym called uh, all it takes is heart and it stands for hug engage ask talk and read and I mean read and talk sorry and then so what we look at is this idea that should we be hugging our children yes there are chemical uh, um, indicators in our brain that show that children should be hugged and and they get you know this in, uh, this release of these chemicals in our brain engage them if they're infancy uh, talk to them, you know, um, engage and try to play with them. Uh, don't just plop them in front of the television. Ask, ask them questions. Even though you know you, you can't really, um, they can't really answer you, uh, talk to them and ask them questions and things like this. This is how they get their vocabulary, is learning from us. Read to them, read to them every day. It will engage them for the rest of their lives. And of course, like I said, talk to them. Talk to them even though you can't, you know they can't understand what you're saying maybe, or they won't answer you, but have a good time with them and engage them and 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 keep the that engagement going and instead of putting them in front of a TV or a tablet or a phone. I've got about 30 seconds left. I think it's really important to see the pediatrician. I know you check on weight, you check on uh, growth and development and and having that kind of that second set of eyes to be able to say, you know, this is something to be concerned about or this is nothing. This is what all kids kind of go through is critical. 
It is because the fact is that that objective opinion and say, well, yes, that's fine. They're not rolling over at four months of age, but by six months of age, they should be. And and, and a lot of times parents like, oh, well, I pick them up mostly. Or I, if they struggle, I, I said, you know, well, what we need to make sure is that they're developing on their schedule. And so when they don't, we can intervene with that physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. And so we have those tools in, in and to help the child uh, and maybe and also help the family so because nobody really wants to have their child in a delayed situation for sure dr cyrus it's always a pleasure thanks for being with us i i taught you mentioned to talk to your kids i talked to nick on and on and on when he was little and now i can't get him to stop talking you know how that they works do, they do say that you know you teach them the first year to walk and talk and then you have to tell them to sit down and be quiet <laughs> for the rest of their life so <laughs> appreciate it we'll catch you next month thanks for being here bye-bye thank you <laughs>